How's it going? 21 hours ago, Download Festival's uh, official social medias posted that they had an announcement coming on the 7th of November. Assuming it's uh, the first round of bands being announced for the festival, I thought it'd be fun to give my predictions and kind of create the poster myself based on what I think and also what I hope for. So we're going to take a look at some bands that I think are going to be playing the festival, some rumors, some predictions, um, and I'm going to build a lineup myself with obviously some bands that I would like to see there. So let's say it's kind of like a half dream lineup, half what I think will actually be the lineup. It's kind of been rumored slash announced that the fourth additional day uh, of Download Festival will be not fest. So I'm going to be taking that into consideration, of course. So uh, let's get into it. So I put together a festival template, which you can see on the screen right now, obviously including the additional uh, not fest date. We're going to start with the, the heavy hitters uh, and go straight in with the headliners. So Thursday. So as this is the first day of the festival, the first day that bands are playing, um, I think we're going to see a smaller band headline um, the main stage. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to see Bring Me The Horizon on the Thursday. Um, Bring Me The Horizon have been absolutely destroying it recently. They've been headlining festivals. Um, their stage show just gets better and better. I've seen them headline um, a festival once. I saw them play All Points East in... 2019 uh, and it was crazy and they did really well uh, they've now hosted their own festival in Malta which uh, looked amazing did really well also they've headlined uh, I believe Reading and Leeds and I think it's time for them to step up and headline download they've always been just kind of a step below headlining but I think they've more than proved themselves to be uh, a fitting headliner especially for the Thursday so um, I'm going to put Bring Me first headliner. So the Friday, the first big day of the festival, uh, what would be the first day of the bands um, had we not have an additional day. So I think this is going to be a big, a big band. Um, and I, I don't know if this is me just hoping and praying that it's going to be this band or if, if there's a part of me that really believes it. Um, I think there is a good a good chance that this band will headline the Friday. And if they do, I'll scream, I'll cry, I'll throw down. I think the headlining band the Friday will be Metallica. Yeah, yeah! Please download Gods. I'm thinking Metallica. Um, it's been a while since they've played uh, Download Festival. I think it's been a while since they played the UK in general. So we're more than overdue uh, a visit from Metallica. I got to see them back in 2019, just after download, uh, they played with Ghost, and it was probably one of the best concerts, one of the most expensive concerts I've ever been to, but uh, one of the best, no doubt. So Metallica for Friday, please, please Andy, if you're watching this, <laughs> as if you already haven't booked the bands, um, I'm banking on Metallica for Friday. Now, the Saturday has me a little bit stumped, uh, I have to admit. I was kind of thinking maybe we'd see like a pop punk band. Obviously, we've got Blink-182 announcing their reunion tour and touring the UK. However, if I'm right in remembering, I did check the dates that they were touring and then kind of when they were, where they were uh, at the time of download. And I don't think <clears throat> that it, it looked like they were playing the festival, which is unfortunate. But I feel like they're almost more of like a Reading band at this point. I know they've played Reading a few times. Um, and so it begs the question, is it going to be a pop punk band? Because we could have, or an emo band, because we could have Paramore. We could have My Chemical Romance. We could have Green Day. <clears throat> there are all these bands at the moment um, from back in the day that are kind of making comebacks, releasing new albums. So it's not unheard of to potentially see them on this lineup. I would like to. I'm not super confident that I would. Now, I know this might anger some people. I remember when they announced Parkway Drive for download. People were not happy. I remember when they announced Biffy Clyro to be headlining, they were not happy. Muse to be headlining, they weren't happy. 
ultimately booking a festival it's impossible to make everyone happy um and the clientele of download has become so diverse that i think we're going to be seeing less and less uh, classic rock bands playing the same festival year in year out i've managed to tick off a lot of my uh, band wish lists because of download festival and i'm very thankful for that but i don't want to see death leopard again i've seen them so many times now that's okay it listen if we could get deep purple journey sticks boston fuck yeah man i'm all over it give me all those bands however i can't see acdc again they're great but maybe not again i think my chemical romance have a really good shot at headlining i saw them play at milton Keynes bowl they did the huge return tour and they sounded great Jared way sounds really good i just think mcr have a real good shot at headlining it's it's been a while since they've played download or any festival for that matter as far as i'm aware i think uh, i think this is pretty probable i think this i'd like to see this i think this would be cool i'd like to see them again i, I would not be mad at this sunday I really don't think I have to say much about this one. Obviously Slipknot. I think Sunday is going to be the Knotfest day. It's been rumored for a while that Knotfest will be coming to download. And I think with the with it being the 20th anniversary, uh, it's a really good opportunity to kind of cross both of these over. Slipknot have played download a lot of times. I'm, I'm fully aware. I actually saw them, I think, three times at download. And they're fucking great. They're always great. They bring some of the biggest crowds I've ever seen and they put on some of the best shows I've ever seen. The stage the stage show is just it's untouched. It's can't can't top it really. Unless you're Ramstein. In which case then I bow down. We've got Bring Me the Horizon, Metallica, My Chemical Romance, and Slipknot. What do you think? So, sub headlining for Bring Me the Horizon. This is a band that I've been waiting to see for a dude like a really long time and I think <laughs> this is more to me praying that they are here download if you're listening trying to make my dreams come true so playing just before Brimman Horizon I think yeah! Limp Biscuit, Limp B Freddy D and the biscuits. Limp Fred no. Hey yo, what maybe the not that fuck? One. Dude, if this is if this is real, if this is if this comes true, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real happy. I love Limp Biscuit. Uh, I do not care that they are cringe. I think they just have a good time and they put on a good show. Fred does still sounds great. With the new dad get up, I watched one of their performances where they were playing on a stage opposite Megan the Stallion. And they still pulled like a fucking huge crowd. It wasn't even like a metal festival or whatever you want to call it. And they sounded great. They put on a great show. Wes is still just an incredible guitarist. Um, I really want to see Limp Biscuit. I'm hoping that they play this year. This is almost a toss up between two bands. I think it could either be Parkway Drive that played before Metallica. Insane stage show. Uh, they've just put out a new album. They just headlined some very large venues in the UK. And then there's also Trivium, who also have a new album out, also headline many, many large venues. So it's definitely a toss up between the two. And I might actually cover two, both, I, I might actually cover both of them. I think under Metallica, we're gonna see Trivium. And I think under Slipknot, we will see Parkway Drive. Those are my picks, they could kind of be swapped around but i think i almost feel like trivium would be the perfect pre-band for metallica it's very difficult to tell out parkway drives logo it's so fine it's like you know when you have a shower and there's hair on the wall that's what it looks like sorry all right under my chemical romance who are we gonna get this uh, there are so many bands that i think could pull this off, and there's a band that I think would pull it off really, really well. That's a band called Idols. Mother, Just imagine it. You go to main stage, you're very excited to see MCR. There are a bunch of kids in their black parade jackets, really excited. And then, just before they come on, bam, 
get fucking idols. You get punched in the face with some dirty punk music. Amazing. And then, and then idols will finish and the MCR will come on with the you like D and D, Audrey Hepburn, Fangoria, Harry Houdini, and Croquet. The, the like juxtaposition. Ooh, he's got vocabulary. The juxtaposition uh, of idols to MCR would be just amazing, and I hope that's something that we can expect to see. I think our lineup is looking pretty fucking strong right about now. Bring me Metallica, MCR, Slipknot, Limp Bizkit, Trivium, Idols, Parkway Drive. Oh my god, I should be a festival booker. This is insane. I didn't even need the rest of the festival. Look at that. Look at all those S-tier star-rated bands. But it, I mean, it can only get better, right? Absolutely, it can only get better. Let's move down uh, an additional tier. So before Limp Bizkit and before Brimming Horizon, I'm thinking two bands. Two bands come to mind for me. We've got Motionless and White, and we've got Bullet For My Valentine. I'm kind of leaning more towards Bullet For My Valentine um, I'm not too sure why. I don't really have a reasoning for leaning that way. It just it, it just looks right to me. Pretty trivia. I'm thinking we're going to see like a download staple. Um, this is a band that I've seen quite a few times, all at Download Festival, and they've always knocked out of the park. I think they would be a perfect follow up for Trivium. Follow up, free up, prior. Uh, I think they would play good before Trivium. <laughs> The English language is difficult for me. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm gonna put Hailstorm just on before Trivium. I think that would be a really cool lineup prior to Metallica. There we go, prior! I'm learning so fast. I feel like it's kind of, it's a tough situation to be playing before Idols because Idols shows are so intense. They're so 100% and they're so passionate. That's one of the things I really like about Idols, is you can tell that they really put everything into their shows, and I obviously really respect that. That's a really cool thing to see, is you can see, you can tell when a band wants to be there and when they don't want to be there, and Idols always want to be there. I however think, this next band I, I've been wanting to see again for a while, um, they did tour here, they are currently touring here, Alexis on Fire, who are absolutely fire, and again, Put a lot of effort into their shows they're really really fun to watch if they are at download festival um i implore you go and watch them because uh, man if you watch their bassist play that dude loves what he does i've never seen such a happy bassist it's it's a really uh it's a really cool experience yeah alexis on fire idols my chemical romance oh my god it's a match made in donnington this is a difficult one. This is a kind of a toss-up for me. There are three bands in my mind right now, and I can't decide. I can't make my executive decision. I don't want to get roasted for getting it super, super wrong. Not that there is any way I could possibly know, but just from my festival experience, I'm thinking, you hear me out, and comment down below who you think would fit perfectly here. I'm thinking, while she sleeps, Lorna Shaw, Avatar? I'm honestly leaning towards Lorna Shaw here. I think Lorna Shaw have been absolutely stomping through the competition recently. And I know that they were on the Parkway Drive bill. The lead up to Slipknot as well, I feel like Lorna Shaw would be a perfect, a perfect opportunity to get people like fucking fired up. I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna trust my gut and I'm gonna put Lorna Shaw there. I think that would be great. I think that would be a really cool thing to see. Damn, it looks good up there, right? I think that's very probable. First band, I think, will be headlining on the Apex stage is Architects. Um, Architects have a new album coming out, I think today or tomorrow, uh, at the time of this of this filming. Um, dude, Architects are incredible and put on some of the best performances I've ever seen. Architects would fucking tear it up. They would have a great time. I'm... I'm I'm banking on Architects, I feel like that's a pretty safe bet. The next band I think we can expect to see, this again was kind of a toss up between two bands, um, the other band being Sum 41, however I don't think we've had the Offspring for quite a while, I think they'd be good, I think that they would pull a crowd. Despite having all of that on the main stage I feel like they could still uh, pull a pretty hefty crowd. Now this next band 
are one of my all-time favorite bands. Um, they recently put out a record, I think last year, uh, which very, very quickly became my favorite album ever. I listen to it pretty much daily. I would fucking kill to see Turnstile headline second stage. They are so, so good. The shows that they put on are so good, and they're more than worthy of having such a prestigious position. I think that they would kill that headline, that second stage headline. They would absolutely tear it apart. The crowd would go crazy. Um, Glow On is a phenomenal record. Turnstile, I love you, and I hope to God to see you at Download Festival 2023. That's so off center, man. But everything is so askew, my ADHD is going crazy. Where's the symmetry? <laughs> I think for the last Apex stage headliner, um, again, like other ones, I was thinking about a number of bands uh, that could potentially be playing. However, I feel like this next guy would be a pretty good fit. He hasn't played Download in, in a little while. In fact, I don't think he's played the UK in a little while. So it would be really nice to see him again. I didn't really get to see him last time because he clashed with Slayer and, you know, out of nowhere, just yell, SLAYER! You know, just, ah! Go, and... Um, I think it's gonna be Rob Zombie. The Dragula himself. King Dread. Judge Dread. I think he'd be great. I Like I said, I didn't get to see him, um, so it would be a nice opportunity to hear him uh, shout about random things. Rob Zombie, come to download. Let's have a good time. Now, I've been following this next band um, not too closely, but they get requested fairly often in my stream and every time I play them um, I'm always like wow that's a really cool band I should check them out and uh, lo and behold I never do sorry um, but I think a band that would go really well just before Architects on this particular lineup um, is a band called Bleed From Within BAM Bleed From Within if you haven't heard this band they're, they're pretty heavy they're pretty chunky um, and some of the stuff that I've heard, I've had to actually kind of stop and be like, wow, that, that's like, I haven't heard something like that before. And so when a band comes along and I stop and I hear something that I like, um, get excited. Like a, like a little kid. But muscular and, and devilishly handsome. <laughs> the band that I'm trying to write in here, the band that I'm trying to put below the offspring, doesn't appear to have a, just a normal black logo. So, I'm so sorry to do this to you guys, um, the band, I'm gonna have to type it in myself. I think... Neck Deep. I think Neck Deep uh, would be a good fit for just before The Offspring. Um, dude, they're so good, I've seen them quite a few times, and every time they get the crowd moving, they're a good, they're a good time, I don't know what else to say. Under The Homies, I'm gonna have to go with another band which I am obsessed with, and the band that I love. Um, and again, this is probably part of that dream rotation I was talking about, but I don't care. Is of course the mighty not loose. Look how good that would look. Just fire. Eat. Ah! It's so good! It's so fucking good! Sorry, I'm getting a little bit carried away. Um, not loose. Turn style. Perfect. Just perfection. And this is the band that I mentioned earlier. I said that they had a new album out, um, and it fucking slams. Um, go stream it, because it's great. I think under Rob Zombie, uh, we can expect to see Motionless and White into Rob Zombie. Um, I think is a, is a killer, is a killer decision. All right, moving down to the Avalanche stage, which is our first tent stage. And I think what better band to kick off uh, the headlining act of a tent stage is a band like fucking Pendulum. Dude, I love, I love Pendulum. I think they are a force to be reckoned with and they sound incredible like Friday, Avalanche, Headliner, story so far. I don't really have a reason for this, it just, when I look at this lineup that I've created that they seem to fit like a little jigsaw piece, like a little pop punk, uh, escape my hometown, khaki mom jeans, pizza loving, autumn leave falling, where are you? Yeah. Uh, puzzle piece, so. Perfect. I think so far I have crafted the perfect Saturday. And I'm gonna make it even better with the Avalanche stage headliner. That is Movements! Uh, I love Movements. They're, they're a band that make me cry. All I need to hear is the first chord to, um, Daylily, and, um, I'm gone. I'm, I'm done for. 
stick them on my my lineup which started kind of as like my predictions and as we've gone further down it's more or less becoming what i want to see <laughs> and i'm okay with it i'm okay with it sunday who are we gonna see for sunday you ready for this one i don't think you're ready i don't think you're ready for this jelly that's gotta be ginger dude it, it just it just makes sense and i can't i can't explain why i <laughs> I'm realizing that my reasonings are getting less and less accurate. I'm just putting things down and saying, don't question me. For some reason, Ginger just seems like they would fit really well there. We need more synth wavy uh, drum and bass stuff. Like fun fun bands like Pendulum to uh, be entered into the mix. And I know that these guys have played before. They're one of my favorite bands. Um, but I think Carpenter Brute, Carpenter Brute under Pendulum would be a, dude, that, the back to back would be so strong. I think uh I think it might be too powerful. <laughs> Regardless, uh that's something I'd love to see. Carbons of Brute are phenomenal and I have tickets to see them next month. I'm very excited. Playing a festival like Download would be great. I think they've played before. I haven't seen them before. Treat me, treat treat yourself through me. <laughs> um under the story so far, I wanna see up. Upper another band that I haven't seen before, um, and I, I seem to have just missed them every single time, but I'd like to see them on the lineup. I feel like it would be uh, a missed opportunity to not have Wage War. Wage War are incredibly good, and I just think that from Wage War into Ginger would like keep the crowd so insanely hyped. I mean, come on, look at this. What are we thinking so far? Is it great or is it great? I think it's pretty great. The hour's approaching to give it your best and you've got to reach your prime. That's when you need to push yourself to the test and show us the passage of time. We're gonna need a montage. A montage. Show a lot of things happening at once. Remind This uh, is my completed Download Festival 2023 lineup. I've added a few bands here and there. We've got The Chats, Loathe, Ben and Prison, Spanish Love Songs, uh, Igor, Intronaut, Harriet, Merca, Bad Omens, Cleopatra, Wars in the Throne Room, Bended, uh, Ingested, a bunch of bands. Tell me what you think overall of, of the uh, festival lineup I've created here. I'd be interested to know and uh, open up a bit of a discussion. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, I'll be li I'm live on Twitch Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, every single week. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for some more content coming real soon.